Hey guys, so here is our makeshift chicken brooder, and what it is is a 20 gallon um, or 20 quart tote or or something. Um, just you know, a big plastic tote that we purchased from Walmart. And we've got um, just some shredded paper and um, shredded cedar and pine, you know, just the same, pretty much the same stuff that we use with our um, guinea pigs. But I wanted you to see how deep this is. We've got it about three inches deep and the reason why is because this tote has a slick bottom on it and um, baby chickens should never be on anything with a really slick bottom because they can break their legs that way and um, really just cause you know leg injuries and you can see that they're you know over here pecking and drinking out of the homemade water that we made and um, you know every once in a while when you when you want to just come by and look at them you know this is for indoor use we have a waterer that's um, for outdoor use we're just not ready to put them outside yet you know because we just got them yesterday and so we want to make sure you know that everything's all right and you can see them eating and everything now see how all of these chickens are spread around the brooder that lets you know that um, you know, your brooder is a good temperature, you know, the baby chicks have to, you know, they have to have it, um, above, above 90 degrees, you know, to really make it. And so that they're, see how they're all just spread around and everything. That means that they're, you know, they're warm enough. Now we're going to lower the light into the brooder a little bit so you can see what happens to them when they're overheated. They'll kind of flare out, um, you know, their feathers and stuff. And pick one up and... They'll start to flare out their feathers and let you know. So if you see your chicks huddled all together, that means that they're too cold. And if they start puffing out their feathers, you know, and, and their wings and stuff, that means that they're too warm. And so then you can raise or lower the lot, you know, depending on that. Let's see. Yeah, see how they're see how this one now is holding its wings away from its body and kind of pushing out. That's how you know. And the warmer lights that you get, try to get one. Um, that see this clip on the bottom. Clip, go ahead and squeeze that so you can show them how it goes on. Okay, this clamp right here can clip onto really anything. So you can put a two by four on top of your brooder house or or whatever you want to do. But, um, you know, it rotates. It'll rotate 180 degrees, so you can pretty much just, I mean, do anything that you want to, and it just fell apart. <laughs> Great. Okay, so while he puts that back together, we'll go back and talk about the chickens. Okay, now, see, now it's noticeably darker in here because there's no light. But they're still, you know, they're still good temperature because, it's in, you know, we have them in the house. We just don't keep our house that warm. You know, normally about 72 degrees and any hotter than that in the wintertime, and we're we're starting to shed clothing so we just don't keep it um, keep it that warm in here and see if I can get a close-up with this camera there's a baby chicken I don't think any of them are gonna look at me they're more interested in eating the oats that we have in there in their brooding pen. Now we are using a uh, medicated chick starter on these chickens because they came from the feed store and they were not vaccinated before we bought them for um, cocodiosis and um, I'll offer the other one. Crap, I can't think of what it is right now. But they weren't um, vaccinated for those things and so we got medicated chick starter for them but it is not arsenic based chicken starter. Babe, can you grab that, that chick starter and I'm going to show them um, turn it, turn it around. Yeah, yeah. It's medicated, but it's got an amprulium in it instead of, um, you know, and it's just basically to prevent, you know, your chickens from getting sick because cocodiosis will kill a, um, it'll kill a flock pretty fast. And you know, your chickens are going to get their litter material into their water. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but we've got our water up about two inches taller than um you know our litter material and we, i taught them earlier that they can eat it out of my hand so now that my hand is in here they're trying to um they're trying to see if i got anything because we're trying to train them young so they'll come straight to me instead of running around the yard you know and now I'm, I'm getting pecked a little bit on my arm he wants something he wants something i don't have anything right now anyways um before i get just so involved with the cuteness of baby chickens that i forget what i'm saying 
uh, we've got a two by four, just a, you know, a piece of two by four underneath the waterer, you know, and that's just a, and now we've got a phone call. Um, so anyways, I better wrap this up. So, um, guys, I'm going to have a whole bunch of tips on the blog about what you can do to keep your baby chicken safe and, um, give them the best start possible before you put them outdoors or, you know, even in outdoor brooder pens. So, um, check out sadipracticality.com and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.